All right, guys, welcome back to some more Earthbound. And I'm, this is actually a different save game. I actually did that thing I said I might do and played through again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I was level 9 in the other one. I've actually played ahead a little bit in the other one because I got bored and wanted to actually play the game when I couldn't record. Um, but I, I think I was level 9 in that one when I stopped. I'm level 10 now. And I'm um, getting ready to head on to Giant Step. Um, a couple other things are different, too. Um, I'll show you once we get up there. But there were a couple items that I forgot about. Um, one, because I, for whatever reason, I got it through my head that you got it later. But it, it just straight up doesn't make sense for you to get it later. There's a, there's a hideout right here that's got some of um, Ness's friends in it. And this guy here will give you a Mr. Baseball cap, which is a little better than the cap we were using. And um, for whatever reason, I was thinking they were in one of the later towns. But, like, that doesn't make sense, because why would Ness's friends be in a town that he doesn't live in, right? Um, also, I completely forgot to avoid enemies if we can. Um, they're not here anymore, but there are these two guys here. Um, if you... Where did they go? I thought they would still be here, honestly. Um, there's these two guys here. After you unlock the door, if you talk to them, one of them will give you a travel charm. So that's why my stats are a little higher than they would be with the with the equipment that I had before. This is my equipment now. Just wanted to catch you guys up on that. Um, you get a travel charm later if I remember to get it at... Oh god, what's the name of it? <sighs> place where you travel through to the happy happy village or whatever it's called uh, i can't remember what it's called terrible little area i hate it a lot yeah all the enemies there are super annoying but if i'm not mistaken there's another travel charm there but like you know it's still nice to have one now Let's see there's a freaking mouse Ugh. i'm gonna try to avoid enemies as much as i can because like <clears throat> i don't know maybe i want to get to 11 before I fight the Titanic ant, but like, screw you, but like, screw you. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. What goes around comes around, jerk. Um, you, you can beat the Titanic ant at level 10. It's not impossible. It's annoying, but it's not impossible. Are you slugs? Yeah, you're slugs. Okay. <clears throat> Some good experience. And because this is like, oh, I, I did change that too. Um, <laughs> fixed my brain fart. Um, because this is like the first dungeon of the game, right? The game's real nice to you, and there's actually a way you can basically grind infinitely here if you want, which I'll I'll show off in a minute. What are you? Are you coming? Come here, jerk. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I should be able to auto kill basically anything in here that's not a mouse. The 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 mouses are. Really, the only dangerous thing in here, aside from the Titanic game himself. And even then, the fact that that last one got two smash attacks in a row, rather than missing or getting a regular hit, was, was pretty unusual. Come here. <clears throat> I'm also going to try to bait single enemies whenever I can, unless I see the little tiny guys. Because the little tiny guys... Uh, if I see a bunch of them, they could be slugs, and slugs are easy, and they're a good experience. But what's my experience? Okay, so I'm probably not going to level up before I get to the ant. Come on, bring it. Auto kill? Auto kill, yeah! Don't lose any resources for that. Come here, mousy. Look at my tush, come get it. Are you, like, stuck on the landscape? Alright, that's fine, whatever. Boom. Hey! Asshole. Stop it! Die! Or become tame. I don't know. Bread roll, that's not terrible. Not great, though, either. Come here. Auto kill? Auto kill. Yep. Yeah. A cookie! I can't carry more stuff. What do I have, man? Oh, a gazillion cookies. So I'll throw away a cookie for a cookie. 
And then I'll eat a bunch of cookies, because, you know, I don't need that many cookies. This is the one annoying thing about this game, though. Is, like, every time you want to do anything in here, you have to, like, reopen the thing and put your cursor back where you want it. It's very frustrating. I don't even need to do this. I'm literally just doing this to free up space. Because the enemies in here are not threatening enough for me to have to worry about my health, really. And like I said, you can grind pretty much infinitely in here. So, of course, you can heal pretty much infinitely in here, if, too, if you know what you're doing. There's a lot of guys in this area. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Um, have a taste of coffee. Get, get melted by all the, this high caffeine content. <clears throat> nice medium roast. Boom. Screw off. There we go. It's pretty lucky that I got all those guys at once, though, so, you know. Hey, there's another one. Auto kill. Boom. Yeah. Cookie. Mmm, yum. This way. Yeah, here we go. So this place here. He's, he's not even here. Okay. Um, if you go through this door and then come back outside, um, every time you do, there's a chance of one of those butterflies spawning. And as we discussed earlier, the butter. Oh, I have healing now too, which is which is cool. Um, the butterflies they they restore your psychic points. So you can use your psychic points to heal first, then recover them with the butterfly. So we come in here now. I'm, I'm down by five psychic points because that recovers 20. But that's, that's still really good, right? And I could just... Let's see. Let's see if I can get up here twice in a row. Yep. I could just do that and recover the last five. And because enemies spawn on this screen here... If I come back in here, anybody? Is there anybody even here? I mean, there's always a chance there won't be any. Here's one. See? You can come in here, kick the crap out of these ants. Doesn't even matter if I take damage. Right? Get my experience points. Because, again, the enemies here are not so threatening that it's really an issue, right? Right? Come back over here. Usually there's a few guys that spawn right here, which makes it even easier. You can come back through here. See, I've got the butterfly. Life up again. Max out my health. Butterfly. It's so easy. And, like, it takes a little bit of time. But, like... You could... You could I guess... You could, like, th theoretically... If you spend enough time here... Like grind to an obscenely high level just by repeating this over and over again. Like, I don't think that would be very fun after a while, but you could do it. Bring it. Bring it, yo. Let me auto-kill you. Yeah, yeah. What is this? What is this present? I don't even remember. Hamburger. Okay, cool. That's actually useful. There's a couple more guys down here. Let's kick their keisters real quick. Boom. Since the landscape's kind of getting in the way, I, I might be able to kite them so that I only get one at a time. I think I'm going to get both of these, though, at the same time. Oh, nope, I still only got one. Unless I miscounted and there was only one left. No, there's another one. So now I just do this. Auto kill. Alright, lost literally nothing in this map. Let's, let's go ahead and kill the ant. Let's go ahead and kill the titanic ant. Bring it. You are not a threat to me. Boom. That's why I love this game. You feel so powerful after a while. Bring it. Yeah. Like, literally the only way I would ever have to fight one of those one-on-one -on -one in here is if they managed to get me from behind. And there it is. The first uh, My Sanctuary location. So, let's talk to it. 
You finally got here. This is the first Dress Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. All right. Let's go. Um, and you can't really see it, but there's another Antoid behind him on the other side, too. So there's there's him and two Antoids. So I'm going to pour some coffee on him after that happens, because screw this guy. And that'll do damage to him and wipe out both of his Antoids at the same time. I'm just going to bash him, probably. He's got freaking magnet. I hate it. Oh, screw off. Um, so this is going to be magneting me anyway. I'll just use some more psychic power. Get it. And life up to... I have a second. Wait, I'm not really worried about beating him. But I also don't want to take too many risks. Let's let my health refill itself. He does do a decent amount of damage, right? His shield disappeared. Alright, I could use one more life up. So let's go ahead and do that, because he's going to hit me again. Yep. Again, wait for my health to recover. Beautiful. Oh, screw off. Got him anyway, though. And there you go. The first major boss battle in the game. Level me up again. Yeah, yeah. Maximum HP went up by 25. Very nice. You learned shield, a or shield Alpha. Probably Alpha, right? I don't know. I always just say A, but you know. Um, <laughs> um, probably never going to use that. I, I usually don't pay much attention to that stuff. And now again, just like back in town after we beat Frank, um, now that I've beaten the boss of this dungeon, all of these guys run from me. So, I mean, this is the rare exception. But except for rare exceptions... I'm going to get green swirls when I come up behind them. Like that. And that gives me an even better shot at just getting the auto kill. So I could I could run through here now and just kind of run around in here taking advantage of that to, to get uh, more experience pretty easily too. Without even having to really worry about the, the butterfly, right? Get it, come on. Make me look bad. It's just, this is, this is a, like, giant step. If you come here at, at too low level, it can be really, it can be really hard, right? Um, the first time I ever played this game myself, I got overconfident and came here at a really low level. And I didn't do too well. But if you come here at a high enough level, this place is not only easy, just, like, but it's, appropriately enough, it, it acts as a giant step forward towards, um, you know, getting stronger. Let's keep going. And I don't think... I've never gotten to spawn by going in and out of this door. I don't think the butterfly spawns from there. Um, but, you know, if we came back through here... Um, bad example. <laughs> that would have been great for experience. The butterfly does still spawn even after the boss is gone. So you could, theoretically, continue to grind here using the butterfly, too, if you need to. It's just really great. That that butterfly that, that's almost guaranteed to appear is just so useful. Can I get, like... See, the problem is you can't get, like, a swarm of slugs in here now because they all run from you, so you will, you'll never have, like, six of the tiny ones all run at you at once and turn into slugs. Very annoying. Come here, mousy. Boom. Auto kill. And see, now that's an auto kill because I'm, I'm guaranteed to get the first attack. How cool is that? Love it. Oh, there's a mouse coming for me from behind. Let's, um... Let's not let that happen. Die. Boom. Feel I, I feel so mean right now. Die. Or, oh, hey. I was wrong. Okay. I genuinely didn't think that could happen. Alright, well, I'll pour some hot coffee on him. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
So I'm going to leave anyway. I'm not going to stay in here and grind. I usually like to try to get to level 12 before I leave here. But, like, I'm, I'm, I don't really care that much today. What, what am I at right now? Oh, no, I'm already level 12. Yeah, I, I became level 12 from the ant, didn't I? Okay, well, there you go. Get it. Maybe I can hit level 13. I didn't look at how much experience I needed, so I, I don't know if I can or not. Uh, we're about out anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Hey, come here. And there's other caverns in here. And I'll probably explore some of these dungeons more thoroughly later when we get to the parts of the game that I don't really know as much about. But I still know a decent amount about this, this part of the game. So, like... Hold up a sec. I didn't get the song. God damn it. I killed the ant and left. Ah, I've done this before, too. Shoot. <laughs> okay, well, let's go all the way back. <laughs> ah. Feel free to leave comments about that. <laughs> Dear God. All right, well. Let's go. <laughs> Just cut to it. Gonna say, I was gonna say, there's supposed to be a, there's supposed to be a, a terrible person waiting for you when you come out. I'm like, where are they? <laughs> All right, here we are, and I guarantee I will forget to do this at at least one other my sanctuary location before the game is over too. Like this is this is such a cool moment, and I always feel terrible that I forget it. Sometimes, like listen to the music there. It's so good. AJ caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy, which sounds wonderful. And I'm sure it's these little, little tidbits here that pop up when you get um, pieces of the song that were the inspiration for like the determination thing in Undertale, right? Um, AJ Soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. There we go. Still feel like an idiot. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut to when we're out of here, and I'll keep keep going from there. Go down the rope. Come on. Christ. All right, geez, finally. <laughs> okay, so no, I'll probably spend more time in the dungeons that I'm not as familiar with because I'll probably get lost in them. Um, but that one I don't need to, so we're not going to bother. There's not really anything in it anyway. Hey, you, the board says do not enter. It says don't enter, actually. Couldn't you read it? Uh, no. What a rebellious kid. Come to yell at police station later. Um, what if I don't? What if I say screw you? Now you have to, and it sucks. Um, I don't like the police, obviously. I think they're probably individual police that are okay, right? But, like, I don't like it as an institution. But the police... And, and, and... You know, admiration for the police are a big thing in the United States. Um, amongst certain demographics, at least. And, um, this is set in sort of a... Let's heal first sort of a fictionalized version of the United States. So, like, of course there's going to be police in the game that are treated as, like, semi-heroic figures. Kind of. Like, the, the... I don't remember exactly, but I think the implication is, like, right now they're, they're like, corrupted by evil or whatever, but, like, they're not usually or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because, like, that's the next thing we're doing is fighting police officers. Which, you know, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that, all things considered. Um, is there anything else I could do prior to that, though? Anything I should do prior to that, rather? Um, I need to save. That's what I'm here to do. I should probably... I should probably go... Like, sell some of my extra items, too, right? Because I don't want to run out of space again. Not that it really matters that much. But, like, you know... Yeah, I don't need to heal. You don't need to heal in on it, cause cause you got Frank. Um, so like I don't need to use the hotel. I mean now that I have Frank, obviously. Um, I can buy some skip sandwiches, I guess. I don't know. And let's just go to the police. Let's just go to the police station. There's some there's some kind of funny dialogue in here too. Before the boss. I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been 
Hey, I've just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Yeah, I bet. Everybody's too busy anymore, man. Uh, man, am I steamed. Don't even try talking to me. I literally did. I literally just did. Um, can I go in here already without talking to them first? And just not, like, it just doesn't, like, initiate the battle yet? Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop. Even if I don't look like it, I don't believe you. Hey! I'm in here! Go and find another can. Uh, I was just joking. Yeah, I know. It's a jail cell, idiot. This is jail. You, got, uh, you guys have no business being here. Alright, sure. I just think it's funny that the one guy makes the joke. I think it's like, he's in jail and he makes the joke. Um, did, does this guy say anything? Do you say anything? Uh, so here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter. It means just that. Do not enter. You got that? Nope. No comprendo. And furthermore, blah, 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 blah. And I'm, it's usually those tax evaders who blah, 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 blah. See, Ness seems to feel just about how I feel about the police, honestly. Uh, we don't enjoy blogging up the roads, you know. Blah, 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 blah. It's usually the local uh, whiners that make a big deal about emergency and media rights. Maybe this game isn't as pro-cop as I remembered. Jeez. <laughs> okay. 